Listen. Leaks is here, baby. Leaks is here. I'm excited, obviously. No, 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 no. <laughs> this. This is what's going on. Why make such a sh client? Two hours later. Okay, I mean, two hours was an exaggeration, but 40 minutes. 40 minutes behind people. So my only job right now is to get as many tasks done as possible. Luckily, I planned out my first 90 minutes of leagues well ahead of time. So this should be fine, but first step is kind of annoying. That's right, baby, Mistlin Mystery. Mistlin Mystery complete. While I'm just knocking out these quick early tasks, I think it's worth me mentioning what my goals are this league. You know, you'll notice from the title, I'm not rank one. I'm not the furthest ahead, but that's not gonna stop me putting nearly 20 hours a day into both playing and making videos. So the goal is really simple. We're gonna get the Dragon Cup, unlock all of the relics as quickly as possible, get the Tumic and Shadow, and then like usually the last step is like profit, right? Profit. So strap in for Operation Mage Go. All right. Problem is now, now I'm I'm pretty sure I can be chanced here. Everyone's someone died. Unlucky. There we go. Hey, tier two, tier two relic unlock. Let's get it done. Fairies fly, baby. Oh, these XP drops are mental. Doing some of these woodcutting and forestry tasks now is a lifesaver because not only is it really good points early on, wanna rush straight for the tier four relic. And I think that means we're gonna have to go for desert. That's right, gemscape, baby. We can just buy unlimited uncut gems here. And yet it's a little click intensive. I'm not gonna lie but it is infinite money. And because I took production prodigy, I'm processing this entire inventory instantly. Instantly. Here comes the money. Here we go. Level 80. That's the tier three relic. And I'm set on banker's note. I'm not even gonna panic. This is what I want. There we go, we got Crystal Memories, we got Banker's Note. And looking back, I don't regret this choice whatsoever. Fire Sale is incredible. I'm not gonna bash on it too much. It is gonna get people ahead so quickly, but by the end of the game, it's gonna fall off a cliff and have no use whatsoever, in my opinion. So Banker's Note is the long game insurance and I'm hoping it's gonna pay off. Oh my God, it's fucking crazy here. This is exactly what I expected. Magic level shooting up though. Runax on the first kill. Oh, you'd love to see it. So I just started editing this video, which means it's the perfect time to get some AFK tasks done. Things like catch 100 salmon, catch 100 lobsters, catch 50 swordfish. We're gonna do that while I'm trying to edit and knock up a really quick task list because I am so close to the fourth relic. And that is when things start getting spicy. I think it's still a task to equip a mithril weapon. Yeah, nice. I need to pan for again. Oh, no way. First time. <laughs> oh, I love that. Might as well do this on the way round. So we'll unnote these and we'll start doing our first ever birdhouse run. Hey, there's the full mushroom transportation system. So nice and easy. I'm curious though. I'm just curious. I'm not saying we're going to do this, but let's just see how many people are here. <laughs> there's a queue. Actual queue for the lesser demon. <laughs> I got the six hour nerd log coming in 30 minutes. Oh dear. I, I will be hopping, yeah. There we go. That's tier four. Or oh, superior sorcerer. Yes, please. 
We are locked into Mage now, fellas. We're in. So here's the thing about the Mage training arena, all right? The grind already sucks in the main game. And I don't know who at Jagex designed this, but it was meticulously crafted as a torture method. Luckily, it's never actually been used for that purpose, but you know, I'm feeling the effects just doing this. Three times minigame points was not enough. We are leaving. There are quite a few tasks locked behind Pyramid Plunder, so I'm just gonna do this until we get to maybe 61 thieving for the medium tasks. And the great thing about this is with Banker's Note, I can just ignore the poison and all the damage I take. I can just carry unlimited food on me. And there we go, 61th even, didn't take long at all. There are a few more tasks for the higher leveled rooms, but we're gonna save those for now. Oh, there's an easy clue. Oh, that was a quick casket, let's pop it. A wig, a bronze play skirt G, a leather body G. Not bad. Uh, this is a reminder to do your birdhouse runs. I am having so much fun with this mage relic. Check this out. And I do have a good reason for this. I need a chef's hat to get into the cooking guild. And this relic also makes this task super easy. Six cows in 10 seconds. Pickpocket mana fight thugs done. Let's just try Sender Pyramid. F it. 38 agility. Can't be that bad, right? This is fine. I don't know what I was worried about. F f I'm back down to the start. Oh, you're joking. Uh, we'll come back for this one. Okay, so I've had my second region unlock ready for some time now, but I've just been undecided. However, I'm now sure I want Kandran next. Hey, Plague City done 20k mining XP. Perfectly, on the money, 40 mining. Now I didn't wanna just show you guys me ticking off lots of really quick tasks because that is in essence what I'm doing to just get as far ahead as possible. We've hit the point where I need to AFK a little bit, get some combat stats in melee so that I can equip my ancient staff, get overhead prayers, to push us into that PVM bracket so that we can finally start to put this magic relic to the test. This is typically how the first day goes. You know, you rush a load of tasks, you feel very undergeared and underleveled, but it's all worth it to just get the extra passive XP and the relics that just make this game so fun and so broken. So keep your eyes peeled for the next one where we are finally gonna put ancient magics to the test. Now he is back in full force.